Welcome to the age of endless possibilities, where technology connects us in ways we never thought possible. Thanks to the rise of the internet, millions of people all over the globe are only ever a click away. At any given moment, we have the whole world waiting at our fingertips, ready for us to explore. But do you ever get lonely? Well, you're not alone. The irony is hard to ignore, isn't it? We're living in a time of unprecedented connectivity, yet so many of us still feel disconnected in today's fast-paced, high-tech society. So why, despite being more plugged in than any generation before, do we still struggle with feelings of loneliness and depression? Let's dive into it, shall we? Chatting with bots, not buddies. Need to know the weather or send a quick email? You probably have a virtual assistant like Siri or Alexa ready to do just that. Chatbots have replaced a lot of customer service representatives at the front lines, but increased reliance on AI-driven communication tools, while convenient, leads to less face-to-face -face interactions, which potentially contribute to our growing sense of isolation. Think about it. When was the last time Siri or Alexa asked you how your day was going, or shared a funny joke? AI might make our lives easier, but it can't replace the warmth and connection of a genuine human conversation. Shallow connections. In the hustle and bustle of today's world, meaningful connections can sometimes slip through the cracks. A lot of the time people are focused only on how many followers or likes they have. Our interactions have become more superficial and focused on quantity over quality, which may lead to a lack of depth and authenticity in many of our relationships. That's why so many of us still feel lonely despite having a vast online network. We can feel deep down inside that it's all just digital noise. The social media mirage. Perfectly curated Instagram feeds can make us feel lonely and insecure. Constant exposure to the highlight reels of others can create unrealistic expectations and a gnawing sense of inadequacy. Comparison is the thief of joy, they say. It's truer now than ever. In fact, some studies have shown that more time spent online, especially when real-life relationships are already poor, can actually worsen feelings of loneliness in youths. A bad case of FOMO. Similar to our earlier point, overexposure to social media can leave us with a bad case of FOMO, the fear of missing out. Constantly worrying that everyone else is out there having amazing experiences, while well, we're left out can take a toll on our mental health. When we succumb to our FOMO, it makes us feel inadequate, lonely, and discontented. Remember, the grass is greener on the other side. Embracing the realness of your journey and appreciating the small, genuine moments in life can be a powerful antidote to the anxiety induced by the illusion of missing out. Techno stress and digital overload. While technology has brought us closer in many ways, it has also made it challenging to unplug. Constant notifications, emails, and virtual meetings can leave us feeling overwhelmed and mentally drained. With every buzz, update, and notification, our devices demand our attention nearly 24 7. And it can be easy to feel stressed out and overwhelmed with the constant barrage of information we get from social media, creating a sense of pressure to keep up and be on top of everything all the time. This techno stress can lead to feelings of anxiety, fatigue, and difficulty concentrating. Taking care of your mental health in the digital world. So what's the solution? Do we throw away our smartphones and live in a cave? Not quite. The key is finding balance. Use technology mindfully and purposefully. Stop mindlessly doom scrolling and set a limit to your screen time. Connect with friends in person and take a step back and reconnect with the real, unfiltered moments of life. Remember, you're not alone in feeling lonely in this high-tech world. But the antidote to loneliness isn't hiding in your smartphone. It's out there in the real world in genuine connections, laughter, and shared moments. So the next time you're feeling a bit lonely, maybe put down that device, look around, and embrace the beauty of human connection. After all, it's what makes life truly worth living. Wouldn't you agree? If you want to learn and understand more about loneliness, click here to watch 7 Signs You Feel Deep Loneliness and To Anyone Feeling Lonely. And if you found this video valuable, let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you go to support our content. Thanks for watching.